Alright guys, let's go over Julia Season 3. I think the guys can agree with me that Julia is in need <laughs> of buffs. <laughs> They're in spin by 1 plus 2. So this move right here, change the damage from 20 to 22. Oops, I think I have counter hit on it. Let me turn that off. I know I don't. Oh, what the fuck? Actual combo. Actually. Alright, so pretty good buff. Um, change your frame advantage upon hit from plus 3 to plus 4. Interesting. So, that probably means she can get something guaranteed after this. Interesting. I do have the character to block all after getting hit. But I don't know if they need to do something specific to get out of this. But if this is true, among other possibilities, that's that's a really good buff. Because, I mean, the, all you need to do to get into this is a 10 frame punish. Right? Unless it's 11 frames. Whatever. It's still really good. Decrease the distance between the character and opponent when the move hits. Okay, yeah. That's a buff, too. Really good. I'm already starting out. We're off to a good start, guys. 1, 2. Increase the damage from 8 to 10. So her basic jab punish got buffed. Cool. Doing wind roll 3, 1 plus 2. So this move right here. Reduced the strength of the pushback and made the move easier to land. So I'm guessing the second hit is going to be landing more consistently. I can't honestly say that I ever had a problem with the first hit hitting and the second hit whiffing. But hey, it, it didn't get nerfed, so that's that's good. 4, 2, 1, 2. This one right here. Change the opponent's behavior when hit and change the damage from 18 to 20. So this third hit now does more damage. I actually never really used this move. Huh, okay. So I'm guessing it didn't knock down before and now it does. That's always good, I guess. Okay. 4, 2, 4. So this oh we're pressing the wrong button there we go change the damage from 16 to 17 so that's a damage buff oh, I, I honestly forgot this move existed but it's a pretty decent uh punish because it comes out pretty fast decrease the distance between the character and the opponent when the move hits oh that's good that is really good because you get the punish plus you get additional pressure afterwards overall overall good good changes so far forward one plus two made the move less likely to put you on the other side of the opponent okay bug fix down back four of one so this move here change the damage from 21 to 23 oops okay change the input window from the second hit from 22 to 24 frames oops down back four of one okay so it's more delayable interesting actually I forget if you get a wall spot from this let's try it out oh yeah you do okay cool that up forward forward three fix an issue in which the move second hit would vary depending on whether the first hit landed or was blocked so it'll probably change that option select where if you do if you input this a certain way you can only get the first hit on block if you get the first hit then you get the second hit it's like a guaranteed combo that but but you're also making it safe just by the way that you're inputting it not a big, not a big deal I mean people were complaining that it was so broken but nobody ever really used it in tournament all right 442 change the frame advantage on guard from minus 13 I'm um, from minus 14 to minus 13 so less punishable that's good change your opponent's behavior when guarding the move so it force crouches them now it looks like and increase the moves recovery time after the move hits by one frame so does that mean I could get follow-ups after this Let's see oh, it looks like you probably could I actually don't even know if this is a I actually don't even know if you could get a follow-up from the previous season but hey it's a buff right not gonna complain down 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 forward one oh it's this move right here so 
so it changed the attack status from 11 frames to 12 frames so it's actually slower interesting that might affect some combos actually so again i'm playing this from obs so i'm dropping these combos that normally wouldn't be dropped oh man if this actually affects a bnb that could be a pretty significant nerf Turn on the TV for this shit. Alright, let's test this out again. Huh. Oh, I'm doing it too fast. Okay. Combo potential. Probably not significantly affected, maybe for the big boy combos, but uh, not too bad. And this move cannot be performed during it using an advanced input. Interesting. That's that's good. Easier for execution. Four 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 two. So this move right here. So change the damage from fifteen to twelve. So we got a slight damage nerf. I mean that's okay, cause I mean this is a, a typical you know, wall carry, combo ender, what have you, and it did a lot of damage. So Julia's damage is pretty ridiculous if your execution's on point. So that's fair. While crouching to decrease the distance between the character and the opponent when the move hits. Huh. Wonder what the frame did on this anyways. I mean nobody ever uses a move by itself, right? There's always a follow-up for it. Interesting. During side step four, new move. Oh, it's a low sidestep low she's already got a bunch of lows that's pretty interesting let's see what it does on counter hit okay of course it does something on counter hit it's julia oh yeah she gets a follow up is that guaranteed? no that's not guaranteed that says counter hit yeah but this is guaranteed Pretty good, pretty good. All right, let's see. Master for moves. Approach enemy three, one plus two. New move. Really? Approach enemy three, one plus two. Oh, there we go. All right, you gotta press it a little earlier. All right, so she's got a command grab out of it, and then approach mid air enemy. So let's test this out. I wonder if you could do, let's see, after a corkscrew. Ah, you can. Oh shit, it's just like Kings. Oh man, this is fucking awesome, man. This is a, this is a new ender for her combos. That's really good. That's pretty freaking awesome. Alright, overall, really good Julia changes. The new moves are really good. Her buffs are pretty good. Her nerfs, almost non-existent. So yeah, I like it. Apologize for the execution. I'm uh, playing off of a uh, OBS for the purpose of just sitting here and reading the patch notes. But I think I demonstrated fairly enough uh, that these patch notes are pretty good for Julia.